Hello there engineers, welcome back to my youtube channel. Today in this video we will be just discuss about the boundary wall footing and columns layout. In the last video we discussed already about the cross section top view and uh, the details about front view back view for the boundary wall. In this video we will be just talk about the structure details for the boundary wall so first of all this is the top view for the boundary wall boundary wall of our villa this is our boundary wall uh, this uh, rectangular as uh, a square shape this is our footings and uh, the small rectangular shape this is our columns so this is our columns and footing for the boundary wall. This is our plot limit. Under the plot limit, you will construct your footing and columns. So first of all, we have here, this is C1. We will put C1 column for this uh, boundary wall, which detail is eight by eight inches. And also this is uh, four Y 12 and y8 at the rate 6 inch center to center so here uh, we have 4 mm um, bar uh, 12 mm bar at the rate of 4 yani 4 piece main bar we will put 4 piece 12 mm and uh, another one is uh, 8 mm bar for stirrups 6 inch center to center this is column 1 details okay Next, we have column C2, column number 2, front for the gates and front boundary wall. Column 2, we will use for the gates and the and the front boundary wall. Where is gate and where is front boundary wall? Look at uh, this drawing. This is our villa. This is our front side. Here we have gates. One gate and this is main gate. Okay. So, here we will use C2 column okay and also for the front so here this line we will use c2 column after this uh, c3 for the gate and front boundary wall c3 uh, this column dimension is bigger than this 16 inch and 8 inch uh, 12 mm bar 6 piece we will put main bar 6 piece and here 8 mm our for stirrups which uh, for column we call ties so for ties we have six inch center to center so this is c3 column so here we have main gate and small gate for small gate we will use c2 here uh, they write c3 for f1 here this footing this footing we will use c2 and c2 c2 also one here they will show you which is c2 c3 so you will use the same uh, location the same requirement for the for the work column c1 expansion joint this column we we will use for uh, expansion joint because we have expansion joints here this one is expansion joint one inch here we have also one expansion joint so for c1 we will use the following uh, column detail one inch gap for the expansion and add by eight inch our column and uh, stirrup details we have already here for ties and main bars and uh, column c2 for expansion joint c2 where we will use for the fronts for for the front when you see there have for the c2 uh, details one inch expansion joint we will put here okay so this is our uh, uh, footing details w w what which size it's four by four feet okay and and it is eccentric uh, footing so we'll put column here here we have also footing column detail for expansion joint this is footing column detail for expansion joint where the expansion joint coming you will use uh, this column detail like uh, we have uh, four by four footing and uh, in the center from the center you will take 8 inch 8 inch from the edge you will add 8 inch take 8 inch 
so here two columns will come for layout okay after that this is the cross section for the footing and column for cross section we have four feet this is our uh, footing length and here we have uh, six inch at the rate of 12 any footing detail which footing f1 detail we discussed in the last video so you will put 12 mm bar uh, 6 inch per and and short span and long span here we have 12 mm uh, 12 inch its depth here we have same detail for the uh, f1 here we have beam tie beam tb1 you will put here maximum 1.2 from the uh, ground level after that this is our column uh, detail yani how, ties how how many inch from the uh, the spacing so here we have uh, this is inside area this is outside area and this is our copying beam copying beam we will put on the top 8 by 8 inch yani 20 by 20 centi uh, we will put on the top of the uh, wall this is copying beam copying beam details you have here uh, which is uh, 12 mm bar 4 piece 4 main bars 12 mm and 8 mm bar ties 6 inch for center to center you will put at the top of compound wall this beam you will put like see to the cross section it is the top on the wall so this is the copying beam detail so each detail you will here study about the uh, compound wall so her, after that you will put the layout you will use your plot limits here and after that you will fix points that how many distance between the columns like that you will make layout for the column so this is the video regarding compound wall structure details for columns and footings and beam. So thank you for watching the video and subscribe to the channel for more latest updates.